All right, today on the table I have the FNS 9C. I also have the Springfield XDS 9mm. Trigger break! Springfield breaks really clean, triggers nice and smooth, exactly the way I like it. This is your reset. FN breaks pretty clean. I got a little bit of movement. I'm pretty sure that was from me though. Uh, the trigger's real gritty though. Here's your reset. I like to try another trigger break. I would break cleaner. So yeah, they break about the same for cleanness. Uh, this does have a grittier trigger though. Shorter reset. This has a cleaner trigger. Like it just feels awesome. Uh, the reset's a bit longer. Both have tack rails. You will see a $52 split, this being $52 more. This is also a slightly heavier firearm. Size without the mags, the FN's a bit taller. With the flush mount mags, The FN still a touch taller, but with the FN this is a double stack mag, so you get 12 plus 1. The Springfield you get 7 plus 1. Now the FN it really shines in this part right here, because you can take out your flush mount. You can run a pinky extender 12 plus 1. Or you can run a full grip 17 plus 1. I think that's pretty cool. Gives this weapon a lot of versatility. Now the Springfield also has an extended mag. You pick up an extra round and then you get your pinky extender. Get your full grip. Really like that a lot. The FN's obviously more chunky because it is a double stack. Sights, the FN's got big fat three dot system. Great for like close quarter combat. Um, really fast target acquisition. This has a bit more refined three dot system. Plus you get a fiber optic rod in the front sight. You can also change that out for different colors. When you purchase the firearm with the FN, you're going to get a changeable back strap, obviously instruction manuals, warranty card, all that, and a trigger lock. Now how this case locks up is really, really good. But on the back, it's just a folded plastic. This is eventually going to wear out and snap. I really wish they would have hinged it. You know, it's an okay case. I mean... It'll work. Now your Springfield, it's hinged in the back. The case itself just looks beautiful. Clips in the front really nice. Inside you get your foam cutouts. This way it'll fit the firearm so it's not sliding around. Uh, extra mag spot. You get, this goes on. For your extended mags, it'll go on right there. So that's cool, they already gave you that. Changeable back strap, trigger lock, all your warranty instruction manual, stuff like that. The overall look of the firearm, I like the way the FN looks better. Just how the slides milled, the serrations in it, the logoing, the texture on the grip. The XDS does look good though. Like the serrations, love the logo right there. Get a pretty decent logo right there. Both these do have ambidextrous mag releases. Uh, the XDS has one of those California loaded flags. Not a fan of that at all. I'll give you explanations in my previous videos if you want to watch them. Actual controls of the firearm. The FN trying to release the mag from your normal shooting position for me it actually is almost impossible. I can start to get it, but it doesn't quite drop free until I twist my hand grip to like right there. It actually works best if I put my finger on the trigger guard, then I can hit it. Still very hard to push though. The XDS, for my normal shooting position, I still gotta twist my hand slightly. Much easier button to push. It's not as like gritty feeling. Slide release, very easy to hit on Springfield. 
FN, not so much because it's gated. I guarded, I guess you'd call it. It makes it really difficult to hit the button. You gotta get right in between, like pay attention to where you're placing your thumb. And even then it's still quite hard to push. The FN is fully ambidextrous though. Uh, slide release both sides, mag release both sides. You have no problems picking this up as a southpaw and running it. Now, would I pick the FN or would I pick the Springfield? For me personally, it actually depends on the job I'm going to assign it to. If it's going in attack vest, I'm going with the FN. It's just more versatile. If I need a, like, just the way my chest rig is set up, if I need a little more room, I can run a flush mount. If I'm running in a holster and, you know, I want the extra rounds, 17 plus one. For concealed carry, because this is a bit thinner, a tad lighter, and it's even cheaper, I would go with the Springfield. My personal pick, though, I'd go with this in a 45 just because that's unique, and I like unique and cool. This just would carry nicer. But leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why. And don't forget to subscribe.